America's pastime. Finally, baseball. some more talk on TYT Sports. I have something to talk baseball with. His name's Pablo Alcina. Yes. I, you don't want to talk to, ba- talk to me about you, baseball? Every time I bring up baseball to you, it's... Can I get a hot dog? Can I get some peanuts? It's you falling. You're just doing the nodding off like you're on an airplane <laughs> about to fall asleep. Uh, Dodger Dodgers uh, are the best. Yeah. yeah. So we're about to hit the second half of baseball. All Star games around the corner. The uh, Home Run Derby has a new system. Love Home Run Derby for whatever that is worth. But uh, first we're going to start, Pablo, mm-hmm. with who you think is going to win the World Series. The World Series. I know. It's way down the line. Since I'll probably be calling the World Series for my third year in a row, I'm hoping it's not the Kansas City Royals again. Because I love the team. I love Hosmer. I love how they play. But God, was it boring to be in Kansas City for four days <laughs> last World Series. No, not fun. Not fun. So not Kansas City. So let's hope the Yankees, I want the Yankees to make Oof. a run, be there so I can spend a week in New York City. Ah, Go Yankees. That's, that's a good reason. No, Very actually, I'm thinking, uh, I'm hoping the Houston Astros pull it off. It would be an amazing story. A team Dude, you're off of an even years. worse city than Kansas City know, to, to go to, which would be Houston. Cue the Houston haters. You have now five seconds. How many times have you hated Houston's on Houston? better than Kansas that? City, though. I... Yeah, I have not been to either city. And so they have who host, am I to who am I to judge? They have Jose Altuve, which I uh, met him in the last All Star game. He's literally like five four, and he was yep. walking in with the bo- the boys that shag balls, and I was like, which one? That Altuve? boy looks like Altuve, and it was Jose Altuve. He's like <laughs> tiny little guys from my country, from Venezuela. He's, I love that guy. I love the Houston Astros story. Nobody knows that team, and they're holding on. Hopefully, they can they can ma- make a push. The Astros are part of, and if they pull this off, if they somehow find a way into the World Series, if they win an AL pennant, they have pulled off the most unbelievable rebuilding project, and I believe sports history. Analytics. It's a lot of its analytics, which they obviously had the major problem with at the St. Louis Cardinals, uh, mm-hmm. but. In terms of, it's not just Jose Altuve, it's George Springer, it's Dallas Kuchel, who's been one of the best pitchers in Major League Baseball this year, and really vying for a Cy Young award, and he should be. Uh, The Astros in 2013 were astronomically terrible, in the ground, unbelievably bad, and now in 2015, a rough 20 months later, they are, I I believe, just outside first in the AL with the best record. Uh, They have decent odds, but young teams tend to struggle in the postseason, especially with young coaching. Not if you have pitching and hitting, and they have that. It's not so much the hitting, it's the pitching, and they definitely have well, that. Like the Marlins. The Marlins made two post-seasons. Uh, they won two World Series titles. Why? They had pitching. Young pitching. That's all you they need, That's good, all you need in good, the postseason. Young pitching, too. That's why I like the St. Louis Cardinals to make a run. Well, Again, yeah. that's that's my team. Yadier Molina is the heart of that team. Every they lose Adam Wainwright, and it doesn't matter. They keep every, winning. Every single year you can take the Cardinals because they've been in the NLCS eight of, out eight of the last 11. That's amazing management. I want to take a look at the odds, uh, courtesy of Bovada, in terms of uh, the odds of winning a World Series as of July 31st. I think is when this closes in terms of this. So Kansas City Royals oh, are no. actually the outright favorite, which oh. is amazing to me. Here's the truth of the matter, though. There are only... Four teams amongst this list that can actually win a World Series. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's the San Francisco Giants, the St. Louis Cardinals, the Washington Nationals, and the Kansas City Royals. The Royals actually. Well, the Giants can't because it's an odd number year. They'll win it next year. The David Price effect. Yeah. Um, Right, and they're at 12 to 1. It's nothing against the Astros, the Yankees, the Pirates, the Angels, but like, I, I, it's not that I laugh at the Angels, it's just like they keep putting more hitters into the lineup, and guess what? You can, you can do your best to score 25 runs a game. Uh, you will think. not win with that pitching staff. 20 to 1, I like ever. those odds. I'll put it on. Ever. You will never win with that pitching staff. How are the staff. Red Sox You will never hot. win with that bullpen. Uh, the Red Sox somehow snuck in there. <laughs> I don't know why. I just found it interesting that they were so low. Surprised the Blue Jays for whatever reason, uh, 25 to 1. But again, but what, what it's were coaching, these odds from? it's management. Bovada. From now? From uh, this from, week? It closes July 31st. I think it's the last time you can make it with these odds. Um, interestingly enough, but I want to play a little game with you, Bob. Okay. Like there was, uh, according to Grantland, there was overperformers and underperformers. Okay. Uh, and I took three of the over- overperformers okay. and three of the underperformers. We're going to ask you, Pablo. I have my number two with pencil you, ready. Which players are going to continue to overperform and which ones you think are going to underperform? So okay. First, we have the overperformers card. The number you see is not the batting average next to it. It is baseball prospectuses, true average, uh, le- true average, which is your park-adjusted average. It's all the advanced metrics. Yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. Paul Goldschmidt, Diamondbacks, who's technically in the pursuit for a triple crown. Technically. Mm-hmm. He's not far off from everywhere. Diamondbacks is actually at 380. Jason Kipnis, 344. And Bryce Harper, who's younger than me, mm-hmm. 22 years old. And, and better years. looking than Francis, which Impossible. is not easy to do. Impossible. Not Im- easy. Uh, debatable. Debatable. <laughs> Francis was not in the body issue, though. Yes. Oh, that's Adam the these, body issue? He's very good looking. Out of these three <laughs> players, 
who will finish with the strongest numbers? And not just true adjusted park average, that's how Grantland ranked them. I'm saying just overall, those three? who's finishing with the best numbers? Because they're gonna, all MVP candidates. I'm going to go with the youth, baby. I'm going to go with BH, Bryce Harper. He's got a team. He's got great pitching. The Nationals need him to keep hitting. He's got to keep winning. The team has to win the division. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write that. When your team's in a run for something, I think it helps you out. I think that's what hurts Goldschmidt a, a bit. So I'm going to go with BH, Bryce Harper. You know, I want to argue with you, Pablo, but you're not making it easy to argue with you yeah, because I, know. I agree. I believe Bryce Harper, Good. who is plate discipline-wise, such an improvement on that alone. His strikeout rate is down, thank God. But the funny thing about Bryce Harper is this is the point where he's supposed to start putting up these numbers. For the last four years, three years that he's been in the league, he was 18 when he came in as a major league starter. No minor leagues for him, so he got a lot of experience. He got a lot of true major league pitching instead of minor league numbers to get it boosted up for no right. reason uh, just to come into the league. Because he's been in the league so long, at such a young age, he is going to start rising the mountain and becoming one of the best players in well, baseball. Well, people talk about Chris Bryant. Oh, my God, the story. Chris Bryant, Chris Bryant. Yeah, he's a great player. Chris Bryant is older than Bryce Harper. That's how amazing Chris Bryce Bryant is. Chris Bryant is a special power hitter. He's a special hitter in general. Uh, again, with the plate discipline, with a guy, these guys who are 22, 23, you don't really see this. The only player I can really imagine of the last few years who had the same young plate discipline was Cano, but now is obviously having some struggles. Maybe that 10-year contract was not a good idea. Well, the idea. greatest plate discipline mixed with power, mixed with average say, of possibly all time, I got to say it, Miguel Cabrera, who was injured on the DL for the first time Ever. That's amazing. Yeah, That's that a is. huge stat. The guys won a triple crown, but to just now be on the DL for the first time in your career is amazing. <laughs> oh, you should have won If it wasn't for uh, Chris Davis and a little bit of help. Uh, Miguel Cabrera is one of the better hitters that I've seen in my generation of baseball. King Griffey Jr. still have the greatest plate discipline I've ever seen and the sweetest swing in baseball. Uh, underperformers, much more fun because, God, if these guys underperformed. Uh, Robbie Cano, average aside, and again, this is still a baseball prospectus advanced analytic number, but average aside, because he's still batting above 300 in Safeco, mm -hmm. obviously the short porch that Yankee Stadium had gave him much boosted numbers. Robbie Cano has been somewhat underperforming. I don't want to say drastically underperforming, because just having him in your lineup, knowing what he's capable of at any point, is, is unbelievable. Ryan Zimmerman, don't know why he's always on these lists. I don't know why he's always projected to be so high. And V-Mart, who might be 40 years old. He might be 60 years old. Out of these underperformers, who will finish the worst? The worst? The worst. Not turn it around? They're not turning around. <laughs> Jeez. We're going pessimistic on these guys. we got to flip it over well, I and mean, have some fun with it. Martinez is at 230, but he might turn it around. I don't know. I, I like Cano. I mean... Again, he's been a disappointment because of the money that he signed for. Way mm -hmm. to go, Jay-Z. Still, Robinson still a phenomenal fielder. I mean, he hasn't yeah. been committing as many errors as... I don't know. I'm going to go long, with Ryan so. Zimmerman. Good call. But V-Mart, interestingly enough, without Miguel Cabrera in that lineup, is only going to keep tanking down. Miguel Cabrera in the lineup, regardless where they put V-Mart at the 5, at the 7, it drastically affects that entire team. The entirety of the team. So until Miguel Cabrera gets back from injury, I think V-Marsh is going to keep sinking. It makes it easier for any opposing team to pitch against them because they don't have to worry about Venezuela. Is Miguel Cabrera Venezuela? Yes, sir. And now the, the first Venezuelan to hit 400 home runs or the leading home run getter in Yes, all-time leading right? Venezuelan uh, home run hitter. He passed Andres Galarraga, another great uh, Venezuelan. Have you noticed when I talk soccer with Francis, I'm from Argentina. Yeah, I was going to say baseball. Baseball, baseball I'm from Venezuela. But there's, there's a definite... What's a, the word? Um, method to my madness. Yes. I was born in Puerto La Cruz, Venezuela, so I am Venezuelan. My parents are from Argentina. My sister's so from Argentina. Argentina. Everything's Argentinian, so I'm also Argentinian. So, But if you say you're from Argentina and you, you call baseball, people say, you don't know what you're talking about, right. baseball. So I have to pull out the, I was born in Venezuela card. You get to so pull out both cards when necessary, yeah. and that's very And important. if you want to hear the All-Star game in Spanish, you can see me doing the play-by-play -play on Fox Deportes and calling games on Saturdays. On Great Monday American months. Ballpark in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah. Right. And it just so happens that Venezuela aren't very good at soccer. So it makes it very yeah. easy to, to vote. For but they're pretty they're getting good better with Colombia. They're getting better. They're the real better. quick Andres Galarraga story is, uh, Miguel, and speaking of Miguel Cabrera, Andres Galarraga once hit a home run in the old Florida Marlins ballpark. That was the upper, upper deck. That they projected would have been over 600 feet if it Whoa. ever landed. Because we don't know if it has landed yet. It's Miguel Cabrera, ever, when he played for the Marlins for all of but remember, two or three seasons. Cabrera played... In ballparks that are hard to hit homers. Yeah, and the I old Joe Robbie Stadium where the Marlins mm -hmm. used to play, and then Detroit. If he would have played like at 
Yankee. Red Sox in Boston. Boston. Yeah. They're all Little League parks. Sure. Blow them out. Yeah. Put Miggy on the polo grounds and he still hit home runs to dead He center. didn't get a second triple crown because Chris Davis plays in Baltimore. And that's the only reason he passed them in home runs. And potential juice. So, Francis, who's winning the World Series? I'm going to put money. I mean, uh, I... I have to go with my my hometown team Celtic. because it's the, the reason I go by. Well, the hometown I'm living in right now, the, the Dodgers. I think Kershaw. Sh- I want to see them do well. I'm, I, I know they're not going to win it, but I'm just going to say I'd like to see them do well. They don't face the Cardinals. They don't face the Cardinals. I've actually met Kershaw, and he's one of the nicest I've guys. Heard I've heard he's. I've heard he's a very nice guy. And he does man. not drive an Acura. That's just for the advertisement. There's no way that guy right, makes that much Right, because LeBron James drives I, I a Kia. I drive an Acura. Wait, Acura's <laughs> a great car. I'm not saying that it's not, but it's on the on the advertisement. It's like I'm Robin. What's his name? But Acura's more believable. And I drive an Acura. But I'm Acura... Clint Kershaw and you drive a fucking Porsche, mate. There's no doubt. <laughs> Acura is a good car. LeBron James drives a Kia. Now Please. that's a little harder to believe. Grabs it. It's fit We're for not a... sponsored by I'm Kia. I'm Cristiano Ronaldo and I drive a Prius. We're it's not sponsored by Kia, are we? <laughs> it's fit for a king. By the we way, since can Kia. we talk about soccer real quick? Do you see what Cristiano Ronaldo did? What? True player. He finds a cell phone, sees the photos, mm-hmm. girl's good looking, calls her up, takes her and all her friends out to dinner, and returns the cell phone. And he's That's Prius. Nice. Good guy, Cristiano Ronaldo, and good guy, Cristiano Ronaldo's Prius. But actually, who do you think is going to win the World Series? I believe the Dodgers do have a chance, uh, Francis Maxwell. That is not, it's not that they're out of it. It's just ee, they do not have the coaching or game tactics. Cardinals if you should are going to win. To actually do it. The Cardinals. Cardinals are the best. Jesus will like me saying it now. win. Leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. Francis is over there. Pablo's in the middle. I'm over here. Tweet at all of us. There's Chiron's blah, blah, blah. We got to go. We got to go. Subscribe. See you next time.